All right, so in today's video, I wanna go ahead and go over what happened with the Mavic 3, why I crashed it on a set of a film. Let's get started. What's good everybody, Ken here, you're watching Original Dobo. So yesterday I posted a video, just sort of like some cinematic shots that I've been filming throughout the week since I've been here in Kauai. And last night we were wrapping up filming at one of the locations and we've actually been using this right here, the Mavic 3, for a lot of the shots. Initially when I was first hired, they wanted more of some FPV style shots, but they started realizing they wanted more of a static, locked off, stable shot. So because I had this, I was like, well, I can use this since if that's what you want, that's what we'll use. And then this happened. So there was a shot that the director wanted. He wanted like something like coming down onto the train tracks as the train was passing, sort of signifying an end of the day shot. Now where we were positioned, we were trying to stay out of the shot. I did not see that there was a tree beneath me. Uh, believe me, if I would have saw that there was a tree beneath me, I would have never attempted that or would have pulled myself further back to get that shot. But the weird thing was the obstacle avoidance didn't notify me that there was anything beneath me. And I can only assume because that tree branch was so narrow, maybe the obstacle avoidance didn't quite pick it up. And because of that, this fell probably what I would say is maybe about 10 feet down onto the ground. Now, I think if this would have just fell into the grass, maybe it would have been perfectly fine and there wouldn't be so much damage. However, because it fell and hit a rock near the railroad track, the leg ended up bending backwards out of the joint. I had to bend it back into place. We also have some scuffing and some damage on the gimbal. And now what is more concerning to me is as I fly it, I'm getting this vibration in the camera sensor every 20 seconds or so. I'll get like this pulsation that will show up in the film. It almost acts like if there was a gimbal guard on and the gimbal was overloading. So it basically renders the footage absolutely useless. Now, I can still take photos with it. I can still do a vast majority of the things that I would wanna do except for video. Video is almost absolutely useless with this camera as of right now. I also got a pretty nasty little cut on the uh, clear ND filter or the clear filter that's on the front of here. But beyond that, I mean, it, it actually held up pretty good, all things considering, I mean, it fell onto a railroad track and it survived. Now, this was no fault of the drone. This was just because I didn't have my visual observer where they can see the drone. And I was letting the director sort of say, hey, go here, go here, go here. Instead of saying, hey, we need to stick to the shot list. We were just sort of all over the place. Um, I mean, durability on this, I mean, I was really concerned with this front piece here, like this top piece here just doesn't feel quite as durable as the previous generations, but it seems okay. Now the front cowling did come out and there is some like, I don't know, some debris in here where it smashed into the ground, but I think I can overlook that and I think that'll be fine. Uh, the gimbal did take the most of the damage and when it did hit the ground, it stopped recording and uh, I had to actually walk over to it to, to find it. I changed out the props because I did bring props with me. I, don't, I never bring props for GPS drones, but I ended up bringing props. Um, and I'm actually glad I did because the props were bent. And um, I mean, I guess I could have went up instead of down or I could have went down instead of up. I don't know what the right move would have been there. I mean, I think regardless, it would have happened. The only thing I could have did was let it sit there and hover and maybe walk over there and then try to get it out and then catch it, you know, football catch it. Um, just a bad situation. I'm just glad we got the primary portion of the shots done. Unfortunately, a lot of the videos that I've shot this past week were in 24 frames per second. I never shoot in 24 frames per second. Matter of fact, the only reason why I'm shooting this video in 24 frames per second is to match up with the other clips that I shot. Um, this has just really honestly been more work than pleasure. This has not been a pleasure trip. I haven't done anything that I wanted to do. Um, I won't get to do anything really like that until next week when I'm on the big island with uh, 808 States. So uh, sort of a bit of a bummer. But um, the good news is um, I'm going to get another unit. There is a dealer on the uh, island of Honolulu or he's in Honolulu and um, 
he's agreed to swap units with me. So Hawaii Drone Services, if you are watching this, thank you so much for working with us over at DroneWorks to snag me another unit and uh, being so cool. So if you're somebody who's in the Hawaii area and you're looking for a drone, check out Hawaii Drone Services. There will be a link down below where you can check that out. Um, me personally, I never put Care Refresh on these because I have business insurance. So if I wreck one, I'm just gonna, I'll, I'll insure it out. That's just par for the course. Um, sort of a bummer. And uh, real quick, fuck you to all the people that are like, oh, I'm so glad you crashed it. Here's an idea, here's an idea. The people bitching about how much these cost, they're complaining because people are wrecking these. Work harder so you can afford shit like everybody else. I don't feel sorry for you. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. I got the message, homie, you know, flex. Stay original, motherfuckers. Blessings on blessings for me, my successes only made them envious, they got upset. I had to put all their egos in check. I want the money, the power, respect, and I heard you know so and so, you're not a threat, cause I really know so and so, they like my family, so they go pretend that they cool till they bust at your motherfucking chest. I'm getting gutter, my flow been like butter, my checking them bank. They see the numbers.